welcome everybody to The Window Box by Sundew Studios. This came out back in February, so it's been a little bit, but I'm finally getting around to it. Uh, this product was provided uh, by Sundew Studios themselves. So thanks for that. Let's change the options. Uh, boy. Touch just a little bit and the music goes really down. You know what? We'll leave it as is. New game. It's, uh, I think, what is it on Steam? Let me check. It's $12.99. So. They say life is like a play. Because some dead Greek guy said, some, said so some 2,000 odd years ago. Since many of us believe long dead Greek guys are geniuses, saying is considered smart. However, I am neither dead, nor Greek, nor a guy. So following that logic, I know nothing. Rather, everything I know, I invent. Does that make me a storyteller or a liar? Um, this storyteller. Oh, how nice. Are you one too? Oh, you know what? Sometimes. Friends of mine are coming over today. We haven't seen each other in ages, so we're making a day of it. And we need it. There's lots of catching up to do now that everyone's so accomplished. By the look of it, we couldn't have asked for better weather. Tell me, are you a sunny or a rainy day person? Ooh, you know what? I like the rainy days. Nothing beats a dreary day. Really? Really? Rainy day people always think they're so clever and introspective. How did you know? Rain only serves to remind me how imprisoning life can be. I don't need the doom and gloom of a gray sky. Thank heavens it'll be sunny today. Thank heavens. But I suppose rain is useful. Without it, flowers wouldn't grow. Hmm. That reminds me of a story someone once told me. Would you like to hear it? Sure. I would love to hear your story. Excellent. <clears throat> Sorry. It's been a while since I've uh, performed. A little girl, convinced of her ugliness, planted flowers in her ears, up her nose, and down her throat. She hoped they would grow and smother her with their beauty. But for what purpose? Her wedding? Or her funeral? Either way, the girl would be beautiful. And a girl is only good when she is beautiful. Ah! Oh gosh! Someone's here! Does my hair look alright? I better get into place. We'll talk more later. Maybe. Cheap in a lock. Please come inside. Oh, you click on the door to go inside. That's cute. Where can we go? What does this do? Oh, look at that. All the rooms. It's a point and click. I did not know that actually when I, when I started. I'd rather eat glass than wear something that gaudy. Seriously. That many beads, bows, and buttons make people think you're compensating for something. And I compensate for nothing. So I had them take the dress back. Remove all that garbage, and voila! Perfection. But who cares about all that? Now tell me, Sophie. When's the bun coming out of the oven? It's not a bun, Elsa. It's a human being. It's a baby. And I'm not saying until everyone else arrives. Oh, come on. If I tell you, the whole world will know in a matter of seconds. As it should. You're about to become the woman who can do it all. Businesswoman by day, Q 
caring mother by night. You're an inspiration. <clears throat> More cautionary tale. You have plenty of time on your hands, though. Do you want children? Do you want to tango with your creepy Uncle Tony who spits tobacco in his hand? And he uses it to grease back his hair? That's disgusting. I think you'd make a good mother. Have you thought about godparents? No, not yet. It seems more of a formality than an obligation. But what if you die? Excuse me? You're about to give birth. Can't think about life without thinking about death. Godparents. Wills. Life insurance. Can I write your, your eulogy? For heaven's sake, Elsa. You're as morbid as ever. You don't think it's important? I just don't think it's a pleasant topic of conversation is all. I have a lot to figure out in the next seven months, don't I? So you're due sometime in winter. What's the date? December 18th. Did you just... Work-life balance is nothing compared to managing you. You'll figure it out. You always do. Oh. Be right back. We have another guest. So, um, is you know who here yet? Nah, she'll be late, like always. Sophie's the only one here so far. Oh no, I forgot to take my allergy medication. Sophie's going to murder me. That seems a little extreme. Oh god, it's going to be like our final 18th century literature presentation all over again. I'm going to sneeze. Paige. I'm, ta I'm ta talking a really, really loud sneeze. Like a snot shot everywhere kind of loud sneeze. Paige. And we're going to get an A instead of an A+. Plus, and it'll be all my fault. No wonder no one likes me. Okay, that happened like five years ago. I think Sophie has more than recovered. But there's lots of other stuff too. I knew I shouldn't have come today. I, I can't do anything right. Oh my god, just get in there. Ah, <sighs> drama queen. Hi. Hi, Sophie. Paige. Been ages. How have you been? I've been well. Congratulations, by the way. You and Robert must be excited. Yes, yes. Excited and stressed. Oh, of course. I'm sure there's a lot to prepare for. There is. You have no idea, seeing as you're a lesbian. Is she a lesbian? Yeah, she probably is. Lesbians can adopt. Elsa? Well, you can. Or use a donor. If you want to, that isn't. Right, Paige? Uh, yeah. We can. Hmm, I suppose anything is possible these days. That's kind of awkward to say that. It's like, oh, yeah, I suppose you can have children. Technology is wonderful. Well, um, boy, this is awkward. This room... This room is a little more decorated than I remember. Decorated is a good word for it. Excuse me. I'm a collector. Collecting is what I do check out that gallery I did I nearly walked out with everything but John told me I could only choose one so I had a custom piece made it should be around here somewhere where is it do you know where anything is in here oh how about a little tour of everything while we wait for the others you don't know where it is do you It'll turn up. 
always does. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a doggy. That's not a dog. That's a lamb. There's grass in front of this lamb. Charlie got hungry. Charlie. Bridget prefers clovers. Bridget? Charlie's twin sister. Oh, of course. Ooh, what else can we look at? Ooh, let's look at the bird. Is that a real bird? That's probably stuffed, right? Aw, Ramsey. Sorry I didn't notice you earlier. Um, Sophie? Who's a pretty bird? Who's a pretty bird? You're usually talking up a storm. Do you want a peanut? Where are your peanuts, Ramsey? Ramsey? Why, why isn't he? <laughs> it's the polyurethane foam. The vet said it was the only way to keep him around. I, I'll i never get people who stuff their pets after they die. Like, that's weird to me. That's just creepy. It's like they can't let go, you know? But I think that's the whole point of death is that you have to let go. It's just, it just doesn't seem right psychologically to keep a pet around after they're dead. You preserved him well. Thank you. Oh, you don't want a peanut then? Oh, look. <laughs> Thinks he's funny, does he? Is something wrong? Oh, not at all. Let's keep looking, shall we? Okay, a little sore spot there. Ooh, like a mirror. Beautiful. This is my cursed mirror. How is it cursed? When you peer into it, you can see yourself. Mm, what's, ooh, what's books. I present to you a pile of books that have yet to be read. Teetherly goes to the bathroom. That's one of my favorites. The bathroom? What? What is it about? A woman struggling with coprastasophobia. What is that? Coprastasophobia. And that is the fear of bathrooms. Fear of not being able to crap. Okay. Well, that's also kind of a fear of bathrooms in a way. I wonder if they have it at the library. <clears throat> what was that? Nothing. Well, I learned a new phobia today. I don't know if I wanted to learn a new phobia. So is this it? Is this everything? Oh, we didn't check this out. Have you ever done a wine and paint party? I organized one as a fundraiser once. What did you raise money for? Fluke awareness. Whoa, like my existence. No. Fluke, like the freshwater parasite that causes fatigue, jaundice, and encephalitis. If ingested. Oh. How common is this parasite? Oh, not very. But that makes awareness all the more important. It seems weird something to raise money for. Ouch, who put that... Oh, here it is. Is that a vase in the shape of a bust? <laughs> Interesting. Is that my bosom? Yes, yes it is. The artistry is impressive. As are the enhancements. Just let me get it off the floor. Oh, okay. Since you really need to. Ugh, it's heavy. I gotta click on it again. Grasp it to really. This thing gain weight to really understand. Hey, I think it moved a bit. Is that a gun? Uh oh. What was that? Did the Victrola just play music on its own? 
maybe. And what was that clicking sound we heard? Probably the sound of someone none too thrilled about finding his Victrola in the garbage this morning. The good news is that melody is most likely the solution to our predicament. Wait, what do you mean, predicament? Elsa, are we in trouble? I'm sure it's just a game. Just a game, right, Elsa? Oh, of course, of course. I just hope there's not a time limit on this one. Oh god, there's a game? Okay. Ooh, so pretty. Oh. Oh. Okay, I know what I gotta do. Whoop. I did it! There you are! Gotcha! Christ, Elsa! Is that... Is that a gun? An actual gun? How about you put that down? Oh, it's only loaded with blanks. John and I take turns setting traps with it around the house. What? That's weird. It's all in good fun. Though he does joke about putting rub balls in it. I don't know if I like that. But that's only to keep me on my toes. Ah! Another guest? This day just keeps getting better and better. I like this game. This is a lot of fun. Good god, my heart is racing. I hate that. That thing. Um, okay. That is just not... Paige, we need to talk about something normal. I mean, a normal conversation is how normal people normally catch up after not seeing each other for a couple of years. Right? I think she's fun. Well, one person's fun is another's too much to handle. So... What do you want to talk about? What? Slot machine small talk? That's what the hell is this? Work. Work. Yes, how about work? I think I saw someone wearing one of your dresses the other day. The business is going well. I have a few collaborations lined up that should be pretty exciting. Do you still just work from home? Oh, um, yeah. My company has a main office now, though. That's where all my employees work from. But you still work from home. I visit once a week. And we're in constant communication. Interesting. Oh, uh-oh. It's getting awkward. Let's, let's, let's move the slot machine again. Free time. So... What have you been doing in your free time these days? Free time? What's that? I'm um, like, for fun. That was a joke, Paige. I know what free time is. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I'm cooking. A lot. I won't be able to fit into my clothes for much longer, I think. If you need recommendations for maternity wear dresser designers, let me know. Let me know. I'm actually thinking of wearing a trash bag for the next seven months. Or longer, if need be. Oh. Jokes, Paige. Just jokes. Oh, gotta spin the... Oh, getting awkward again. Okay, time to spin the slot machine. Talk about reminisce. <laughs> what? Oh, I was just remembering our college theater group's first rehearsal. Ah, oh, that water fight scene. How can I forget? That was the last time I ever wore a white dress with bright pink undergarments. 
Why would you do that? That seems like a mistake. I'm pretty sure we just decided to have a water fight instead of rehearsing. Which is also probably why that production was a disaster. But at least it was fun. The good old days where disasters were fun. Okay, time to spin. Today's plan. It's a shame we don't get to see each other more often. I feel like it's been ages since I've seen anyone other than my husband and co-workers. Somehow life seems to keep us too busy, even though we almost all live in the area. Priorities really affect what aspects of our lives we choose to either maintain or let go. Don't they? That's very fuck. Well, ignoring that little game earlier, today is looking to be a nice relaxing time with every... Last one to deliver him was a rotten bologna sandwich. What? Cheater. Spoke too soon? <laughs> Always. Victory's mine. Yeah, because you gave yourself a head start. You two are a handful. Excuse me, I believe you are also a member of our terrible trio once upon a time. If by once upon a time you mean while we were seven, then yes, I was. But look, we're still together now. Don't you think that means something? Terrible trio for life. I should have gone to college on the other side of the country. Hmm. Oh, how did that meeting go last week, Margaret? Most meetings do. Did you yell at people again? What? I never yell at people during meetings. Though, maybe I should start. People might actually listen to me then. People never listen to me either. So I just do whatever I want. Yes, well, you don't work for a company now, do you? Mean. Sophie, tell Margaret she's being mean. I get you right. Betrayal. Excuse me, I'm a facilitator and therefore neutral. Wait a minute. Where did Paige go? Probably to the toilet. Shoot, Paige is here? Oh, I'm the worst. I didn't even notice. She does have a tendency to, well, hide. But there's like hiding away somewhere and then there's hiding in plain sight. It kind of creeps me out, to be honest. Oh, so you said Finley's coming today too, right? Well, hang on a quick second. Didn't they break up? No, they're just... taking a break. And they're both gonna be here. Yeah, they are. That's gonna be awkward. Did you tell them that? Of course I did. When I mentioned having a little reunion with all of us, I told them I meant all of us. Neither of them said no, so I just assumed that meant it was okay. Does anyone know when Finley's getting here anyways? I made reservations at Au Revoir for lunch. They charged me $50 per person if we don't show. Relax. Meeting here was supposed to be a nice way to start our day. Finley's never been the type for being early. Or on time. For that matter. She's too busy traveling the world unlike the rest of us. Jealous. Well, sorry for liking schedules. No wonder Traveler likes Finley and her hermit like Paige Split. Huh? Oh boy. How was the toilet? I just unclogged it again this morning. Um... I stepped outside for some fresh air. Well, as long as we get there on time, I suppose it doesn't matter. I missed something, didn't I? No, no. I was, er, about to ask if anyone would like some tea. Would anyone like some tea? No? Okay, no tea. Do you have coffee? Would anyone like some tea or coffee? Sure, that'd be nice. 
Paige, would you mind helping me in the kitchen? Not at all. We'll call you into the dining room when it's ready. Oh, we gotta go to the kitchen now. Okay. Kitchen. Maybe the tea kettle's in here. No, don't open that cabinet. Huh? The cabinet on the left. That's the one you're looking for. Uh, okay. Found it! Nice. The dress you're wearing is lovely, by the way. Thanks. It's one of my newer designs. Should I just fill the kettle to the top? Sure. Now where did I put the tea? Did you design the pattern? No, no. The fabric was sent to me by a friend. A friend in a faraway place? Have you learned to sew yet? Oh, she doesn't want to talk about it. I'm much better at wearing clothes than making them. Well, maybe she did more than pin them together. Ha! <laughs> I remember that dress. <laughs> it was all the rage that evening. Thank you very much. And luckily, John was there to twirl you off the dance floor as it started falling apart. But that's the beauty of fun. You don't notice when things are falling apart. Oh, I've been meaning to tell you. I had the strangest dream last night. So did I. Maybe they're connected. Are you using amethyst essence spray before bed? I am. They very well could be connected. Tell me your dream first. No, you go first. I insist. Very well then. So, my dream starts with the four of us in the living room, as we were just now. You, Margaret, and Sophie, chatting away, having a good time. Well, I start to feel alone. Even though I know I'm not alone. But, well, you know how I am. I decided to take a step outside to clear my head. It's a perfectly clear night. Oh. The stars clamor for attention. But the moon is too tired to talk. Gentle breeze whispers in my ear. Listen, but do not look at what rustles in the bush. But just as the musician looked at the nymph, and the nymph looked back at the musician, I looked at what rustled in the bush, and it looks back at me. The cat emerges carrying something in its mouth. I assume it's something it killed, but I can't see exactly what. Take a few steps towards it, but the crunching stones beneath my feet startle the cat and it runs away, leaving behind its catch. I reach down and pick it up. Its body fits comfortably in the palm of my hand. Squishy, sticky, sharp. The cracked remains of a snail. The strange part is, I'm not horrified. Rather, I feel at peace and think, well, that's life. And then I woke up. Hmm, interesting. I dreamed a seahorse stayed home and ate a bowl of almonds. I don't think our dreams are related. Neither do I. The water! We forgot to grind the coffee beans! Where do you keep them? 
Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I just, uh, I really need to clean out these cabinets. That's what I mean. Well, that sounds like a test for another day. Okay. Um, so we can't do anything here, right? We just, okay. Where do we go? Let's go back to the living room. That's not the living room. I hope Elsa has, has agave nectar for my tea. I prefer my coffee black and smooth, just like my hair. Ballpoint pens. Someone needs new and better material. Someone needs to lighten up. Sorry, my tastes are so refined. Refined? I think someone has forgotten about that presentation with Paige. Where Paige sneezed so hard a booger shot straight out of her nose and hit the professor right between the eyes. <laughs> that Miss Forgetful over here laughed so hard she let out a huge stinky fart. Why do you always have to remind me about... It's Mrs. Not Miss. I'm a married adult, unlike some people here. Is that what you're telling yourself these days? Let's... Let's have a proper adult conversation now, shall we? Fine. Let the meeting commence. Just the way your refineness likes it. Oh, call to order. Let's click on it. Okay. Two friends meet to discuss their lives as businesswomen. Attendees. Margaret Wu and Sophie Smith. Absentee members. Elsa Pirelli, Paige Johnson, and the friend who's yet to arrive. Proceedings. The labor of labor. A report by Sophie Smith. How's everything going, Margaret? Now, oh, same old, same old. You know how it is. Late night meetings one day, early morning meetings the next. And yet nothing seems to get accomplished. So, um, can I ask you a question? Of course. What are... What are you planning to do? About what? Work? That's the only question I seem to get asked these days. Makes me feel like a liability. Oh god, our finance manager is pregnant. Remember to put that in the risk factor section of this year's annual report. Oh. Hang on. I need to check my calendar real quick. Sorry. No worries. We've all been there. I can't remember if I scheduled my team meeting for next week. Alright, I did. The meeting with our board members is scheduled for Monday afternoon. The accountant is coming on Tuesday. And Rick, our accountant's receivable officer, wants to get lunch again on Wednesday. He's, um, having some marital issues and finds talking to me useful. Personally, I think he should see a therapist, but I, mean, I don't really feel like it's my place to say that. Sophie? Oh, right. I'm also running low on paper clips. Gotta, gotta get paper clips. I should write myself a reminder to order some. Don't you have an assistant? Yes, but everyone checks in with me anyways. Why don't you tell them to check in with your assistant? I have, but, well, I don't mind, really. It allows me to keep an eye on things. And my assistant tends to make mistakes. You're going to exhaust yourself. No, no. It's fine, really. Once you have the baby, there's just no way you'll... I know. That's why. There's no way you'll be able to balance all this stuff. That's why I might, I might stop working. What? When the baby's born, I'm thinking of not working. Why would you? No one said you had to do that. Change of pace, I guess. Maybe priorities. But, but what about the promise we made? To become all CEOs and things change. And 
and when they do, some promises just can't be kept, Margaret. Yeah, I guess. Unfit to be fit. Report by Margaret Wu. Anyways, you want to talk about what really happened at that meeting last week? I can read you like a book, you know. It wasn't just a meeting. It was a promotion review. As you know, I've been stuck in my current position a while now. And I've really been pushing myself to get a promotion. What did they say? You're an intelligent young lady who makes valuable contributions to the company. Truly a key team member. However, you are unfit for leadership. They didn't give you more specific feedback? I tried asking. All they said was, you just aren't. It's just not fair, Sophie. No, it's not. Wow, that sucks. Where's our DMT? Closing thoughts. Question mark. Shall we head to the dining room? Yes, we shall. Okay. All right, time to go to the dining room. Ooh. Elsa, are you serious? You don't remember our first rehearsal? Hm. No, I don't. But I do remember you and Sophie switching out the pr <laughs> prop bourbon for actual bourbon and drinking the entire bottle live on stage. I did no such thing. Paige, pass the sugar, please. Sure. Oh, ho, ho. yes, you did. Then why don't I remember it? Because you're drunk. Because you drank the entire bottle. Only half. So you do remember. Either way, we got banned from putting on plays after that. I'm pretty sure we only got banned from putting on ones not on the pre-approved list. What's so great about all those old plays anyway? Uh, excuse me, Romeo and Juliet is a masterpiece? Um, would you all... Would you all be interested in playing one of her old improv games? Great idea! Wait, are you sure? What? You scared of a little quick thinking, Margaret? Margaret used to be the best at improv. It's not that. I thought we're not supposed to talk about. If you think it's alright, I'll play. Really? I guess. Guess I'll play too then. Should we wait for Finley? No, we don't wait for Finley. She'll probably show up once the game is over, in classic Finley fashion. Which one did you want to play, Paige? Oh, just the one where we go in a circle saying the next part of a story. Sounds good to me. You want to start? Oh. No. You go first. I insist. Here we go then. Ahem. <clears throat> So the story starts like this. Something like this could never happen, the princess thought. She didn't need to voice her opinion on such a ridiculous idea. The princess decided to focus on filing her nails instead. Gosh, they've grown so long. But too long? She was a princess. She could grow her nails to any length she desired. It's my turn, right? Mm hmm Okay, so even if it did happen... Her village had the strongest walls, her kingdom had the largest army, her prince would protect her. He would surely gallop back on his trusty steed from his faraway hunting trip. She could see his flowing golden hair now, glistening in the sun as he comes over her. Kingdom's hills. <laughs> wow, okay. Go ahead, Sophie. 
Guess I should figure out what this disaster is. Well then. The princess could think whatever she liked. The witch foretold a massive storm would destroy her kingdom. And the witch was never wrong. Does it have to be a storm? Elsa, don't interrupt. Oh. Discipline by page. I'll hush, Margaret. Continuing. The princess had to remain strong for her diplomatic ties, for her subjects, for herself. For herself. Because no one else would be strong for her. Such is the curse of being a princess. Wait. Does the princess care not that her kingdom is about to be blown to smithereens? Doesn't. Tries to. Does. I'm confused. I don't know if I can take this lady seriously. I think someone's trying to avoid the next line for the story. I thought you were good at thinking on your feet. Is someone getting a little old? Like you're one to talk with that memory of yours. Well, should I say lack of? Fine, we'll skip you for now. But you better be ready next round. The princess decided to try to have some fun. She had cookouts in the castle garden. She held a ball. She declared a new holiday. I like she held a ball. The princess had already had her monthly ball that month. But why not have the next monthly ball a month early? Besides, the princess really wanted to eat the seven layer chocolate strawberry pistachio cake. She was even willing to let her subject have a slice too. Maybe even a big one, maybe. The fun made time fly, and before everyone knew it, it was time to go home. But as they did, gusty winds rocked the trees, clouds started rolling in, thunder roared in the distance. I say thunder roared in the distance. But the kingdom's subjects had heard thunder plenty of times during their lives. They all simply returned to their homes, knowing the storm would be over by morning. The whole village had sweet dreams that night. The burden of worry remained solely with the princess. Everything was as it should be. Your turn again, Morgan. Uh, I don't know. Margaret? Okay, okay. I'll figure something out. And so. And so the storm hit. You're very good. Overnight, all the princess's responsibilities washed away. When the sun rose for the first time ever, the princess was independent, the princess was free, the princess was alone. I'm going to say she was independent. See, stuff is changing in this background. That's kind of cool, actually. There was no one to cook for, to redo her, nor paint her nails for her. How would she survive? The princess had a lot to figure out in her new world. Who could she become? Who was she? Who was she now? I'm gonna say who could she become? No, they didn't like that. Before the princess would become a queen. But now, is the princess destined to become nothing? And then, she got hungry. She decided eating was probably good next step. She went to the kitchen and searched. The cupboards, the fridge, the oven. She searched the cupboards. But it was bare. Well, minus ingredients, but ingredients aren't a meal. She didn't know what to do. All right, I think I got this. The princess went to the castle library to look for a cookbook. 
She had never looked for a book before, but it felt good to do something herself for a change. When she found a cookbook, she opened it to one of her favorite comfort foods. Pan-seared foie gras with spiced citrus puree. Spinach and... Gr what the hell is that? Gruyere souffle. Escargot and garlic herb butter. Mm. I bet she would like this thing. Wait a minute. Foie gras is force-fed duck liver. It is? Oh man. I thought that sounded familiar. Gross! The princess was appalled. How could something that tasted so nice be something so vile? Decision made. The princess would never eat foie gras again. She decided to make a souffle instead. It kind of sounded like a pain to make. <laughs> yeah, they are. But she wouldn't learn unless she tried. And she had never been allowed to try before. Take it away, Elsa. Elsa? Yoo-hoo, Elsa! Huh? Sorry, I, I spaced out there for a minute. It's your turn. For what? We're playing a game, Elsa. I love games! Which one? I know I'm not the best at noticing sarcasm or any of that, but... Are you, are you joking, or...? Finley's here! Wow. Okay... What the hell was that about? The state just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What do you mean? Earlier this morning. Earlier this morning, Elsa showed us a game she played with her husband. They set traps around the house with a gun. A gun? A shotgun specifically, and they tried to shoot each other with it. Are you sure it wasn't one of her old prop guns? No one else says she hasn't thrown away anything from her theater days. It looks pretty real to me. Did she fire it? No. Then I'm sure it was just a prop. This might sound strange. But because this is Elsa we're talking about, I'm more concerned with her memory loss. Paige, you talk to Elsa more than any of us. Do you know anything? You do, don't you? Yes. But I'm not sure Elsa knows what I know. You see... Elsa... Elsa had a procedure done. A procedure? Like a surgery procedure? Wait, when? Elsa and John's lovely deadly vacation two years ago? Elsa wouldn't shut up about that trip. She called me almost every day leading up to it. Well, it wasn't a vacation. After they got married, Elsa told me she started having... problems. John took her to see a doctor. The doctor said she needed a procedure. So she got it done. I tried asking what for, but all she said was, and I only remembered because it seemed so odd, the weather is so lovely today. It's difficult to focus on such a lovely day. Wanna go for tea? And then we went for tea. I don't remember her recovering from any procedure. Two years ago. Two years ago when Elsa stopped acting. I thought it was weird that John told us not to ask her about it. I'm sure they have their reasons. Every couple does. Hmm. 
Well, I think I'm going to call it the quick look here. That was actually a pretty interesting game, and I actually kind of want to play more of it. It seemed really interesting. You can buy it right now on Steam uh, for was it $13.99, I said. I think you can also get it on itch.io. I'm not sure about that, but link's in the description below. And uh, yeah, have a good day, everybody, and take care.